all right hey guys what's up it's wolf your one how all my adventures doing hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day um as for me i'm gonna be showing you guys quite the tutorial right after my devlog for those of you guys who are here for the tutorial go ahead and skip down in the description i have a whole bunch of time skips down there so you guys can go straight to the tutorial if you're not interested in the game i am developing at the moment but for those of you guys who are interested, I am making a Monster Girl creature collector. <laughs> Basically Pokemon, but with Monster Girls. And I'm changing all the assets, all the sound effects, all the mat, all the music and stuff. This is a whole big Fiverr project that I am doing. I am hiring like Fiverr artists and Fiverr music, music artists, I guess artwork artists and music artists i guess that's the easiest way to say that without confusing people <laughs> but yeah i have no art skills and stuff like that but i have been interested in developing a game and rpg maker was the first thing i wanted to do before i moved on to like uni or anything like that so yeah this this is basically the first game then the second game will be a lot more polished with a lot more features that i actually wanted to add with a whole bunch of more headache of learning <laughs> but with that said um to the rest of the devlog now the introduction and stuff out of the way for new people um tell set so far for the inside of the house are like this <laughs> I got stairs, I got some, you know, railing that I'm going to show off of how I'm going to be doing this because this is kind of awkward. I could show you guys right now, actually. For those of you guys who didn't, you know, skip ahead. So, tile sets are going to be kind of weird. I'm going to show you how I can do this, even when I'm doing this, for those of you guys who are also confused be stuff like that like that's meh but I'll, I'll show you guys a better way i'm gonna be doing this um i'm actually happy with with yak because i i let yak do his do his own thing i don't know if it's a hit him or her so i'm just using the default <laughs> um so i let them pretty much make their own things out of all these tile sets that I left. These are the references that I gave Yak and they actually did a pretty amazing job. A few things are missing, which I'm gonna have to talk to them about. About the HP potions and the lan lanterns. And I forgot like a dumbass to give them doors. <laughs> oh, the uh, desk is also another thing. I have to make an individual like foul for like things that they've missed. Yeah, and it's stuff like that. But anyway, um, gonna need doors, doors for sure, because I'm thinking about just instead of making it like, oh, I can see inside of the rooms. I'm probably just gonna make a hallway instead. Have the players walk through them, and there's just gonna be doors. Then boom, there's your room. Your room's gonna be a lot larger than you know just what I was doing inside of this video you know I made this as a placeholder we're gonna change this to just a whole different room instead of just you know it phasing into here which I did like the design at first but I was like yeah maybe I should make it more lively for like the player in their room instead of making it like this really small room with just these like small objects and stuff like that so yeah, that's going to be changing for this once I, <laughs> I tell them I, for, I forgot uh, doorways. <laughs> that's going to be fun. But um, yeah, just a few potions and stuff are missing. These are probably placeholders. I'm not too sure yet because I do like how they look. So it might not be placeholders. I do like the aesthetic of it so far. But with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial part. So there's something called parallaxing that I have been interested in doing for a while, but there's different things that uh, people never told me. 
RPG Mercury XP does not really have parallaxing support. So I'm going to parallax my items into RPG Maker. If you guys are catching my drift. So just to get straight into the tutorial before I ramble on. Uh, this is my original tile set. I had to reorganize it and everything because it wasn't going to look like that, like this inside of there. For those of you guys who are experienced with RPG Maker, you know it gets cut off. So do make sure that all your stuff is set up or if you're going to actually like put in the game from here, go ahead and put in your original tile sets. If you guys are wondering how I made these uh, grids, I want you to go up to edits. If you don't have it already, go to preferences, go to grids and guides and slicing. And I want you to put whichever, whichever pixels your towels are. If your towels are 64 x 64, put that in. Well, just put in 64. If your towels are like mine, which are 32 x 32, I just put in 32. Keep this four. Oh yeah. Make sure to change this to pixel. My bad. I totally forgot about that. Then push. Okay. Now you should have your grids for fitting in all your stuff. Now, I actually have it over here on my actual tile set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this tile set and I'm going to go ahead and grab the selection tool and select one of my tables. Kind of Try and get it inside of the grid. Nope, that's not all of it. Okay, it has all of it. I'm going to control C and copy it. Now I'm going to come to this and paste it. I'm going to go to my move tool, move it down. Try to move it into a towel set that doesn't have any anything clipping through. Let's say for an example, if you have something like this, try not to put it inside of a towel that will, you know, have like leftover of another towel. For me, I know that there's nothing. Well, no, I should prove it, put it down here for sure, just in case. Just make sure it actually fits within that towel or the towels that you want it to fit within. And now we're going to come over here and some of you guys are probably getting this and understanding where I'm going with it. I'm going to come over here and select the item. Oh, hold on. Okay. Copy, paste, boom. Wow. I have an item. I can shrink it and everything and fit it to my table. I'm already parallaxing. Now there is going to be like probably some issues of if you have like some large item on there, you want it. Well, actually, no, depends on how you place it. Because if I have a lamp right here, I can make it non, uh, I can just basically put in RPG maker and make this part passable and this part not passable. So it's actually not a bad idea. If you guys want to do something like, like this, grab both of these and move it down. If you want the player behind a desk, well, as long as it's inside of here, if you want the player behind a desk, you can make this passable, but this not passable. So that's also another way you can do that. So we're going to keep it like that because I'm actually going to try that idea. Let's go ahead and save. PNG. I'm going to make sure that it goes over that. And now it should pop up under here. There we go. So 
So now I should be able to put this anywhere on here. Now this right now should be passable since I haven't set it up yet. Now, uh, let's see. There we go. I'm going to scroll down, make this passable. And now I'm going to do terrain. Oh, it's this, it's this, not terrain. I'm special. My bad. My, I, I'm supposed to be asleep right now. I'm, I'm not really thinking too well. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, God damn it. I did it again. Literally just a few seconds ago. So now I'm behind a desk. So yeah, simple, simplest way to do all that. <laughs> if only my brain would have remembered. Without all the parallaxing, you know, complications of certain items being like cut off and stuff like that. That's one way you can actually just, you know, parallax inside of <laughs> inside of RPG Maker uh, XP to the point where I'm surprised nobody just went with this simple route versus like all these other complications that people have, you know, made upon themselves. I want to try something else. There's another thing I wanted to try. There's a fireplace. I should be able to parallax the, the log in there. easiest way to do that so now I have a fireplace with a uh, that I can also categorize these two if you're gonna group them and name them make sure you group it and call it a uh, call it something just just to memorize like all pieces that went with it and so you can move them all together uh, fireplace. Now I can click on it and move it all together. And I can open it to move individual pieces. I can control click to select that piece without having to go inside of there. Like I said, I, I don't understand how some people well, most people looked over it. You can technically do it. It's just it comes to making it inside of your uh, inside of your Photoshop and just figuring out the sizes and everything of changing it. But yeah, that has been parallaxing with me. <laughs> Hopefully, you all can you know. Put it towards your your games out there and have fun. But that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. I need to go to sleep right after I eat.